Okay, are we live? Yes, we are. Hey guys, Phoenix here, and today I am doing a, not a live stream, but I'm doing episode one, well, it is live, but I'm doing episode one of, I almost said Theory of Fear, um, Layers of Fear, the game, um, so I've never played this before, I've played, like, the only horror games I've played is Slender and Outlast, so this is going to be new for me, I've heard that it's scary, never played it before, I've seen uh, my friend Bob Bod play it a little bit, but not much. But, uh, okay, that's that's okay. Um, but as far as I know, it's not it's not exactly a very like it's not it's not an awesome horror game because I've never really heard that much about it apart from that. It's been out for a while now at the time of me playing this, but um, how does this work? How do I open? Oh wait, hang on. Maybe I need to flick them off. I'm so confused. Uh, oh, okay, right. So, as I was saying, I was just learning how to open a door then. So this game seems a lot more laggy than all the other games I've played. But I've never played it before, so it's going to be interesting to try out. And I'm going to do this in episodes, guys. So, it's not going to be a full live stream of just, like, the game. Beautiful painting. It's going to be multiple episodes um, just out of my channel. So this is episode one today. Uh... Looks kind of creepy in there, so I'm just going to shut that. At least there's lovely uh, lovely music playing. But yeah, basically, guys, this is going to be a new series I'm going to be playing um, on Layers of Fear. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Can I... Uh, I I'm pressing it. There we go. Okay, that isn't helping. Oh, it's obviously not that one. There we go. Stop that tap. I don't know why, but it just got annoying. Right. Where do we go then? What's here? Oh. Uh, I'm not. I'm never going to bother reading these guys. So once again, if you want to, just like Slender, if you guys want to read them, um, then pause the stream and read it. Oh, what's down here? Okay, that looks like it's locked. Right. So let's go up here. And see what is upstairs, then, I suppose. I don't know the storyline of this, however. Okay, that piano's stopped playing, and there's... Oh, stuff going on. There are music notes. Okay, I didn't expect that to close. I was just happily playing a piano, and then it just closed on me. I'm guessing if there's ghosts in this game, it didn't want me to... Okay. That was creepy. How do I turn this off? Can I... What's in here? I don't care about any of these. Okay, it turned itself off, thank God. That was annoying. Shut the thingy. What's in the middle one? No, that's not the middle one. Middle, please. Oh, bollocks! Come on! <laughs> right, here we are. No, oh, just close. Okay. So that was pointless. Uh, the sheets. Never gonna bother reading them. What's in here? Ooh, a ring. Interesting. I'm gonna rob that. Some money from it <laughs> at the uh, pound... No, not pound shop. Um... Wherever you take cash converters, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Just gonna nick that and take it to cash converters, very nice. Ooh. Why is this game scaring me? Nothing scary is happening. <laughs> they were just bottles, right? I'm expecting something in this one now. Okay, apparently nothing. Oh my god, why? Why did that scare me? Shut that. Yep, there was a note on the back. Been working all night. What? Don't wake me up. Okay, I shan't. Um, there is blood here, guys. I'm expecting a jump scare. Never mind, it's locked. Fair enough. Right, what's in this room over here? Can you run in this? Mummy! <laughs> Please, nothing jump scare me. Please, oh dear lord. Wait, I think that was probably the ladder that fell over, actually. That was a freaky baby. Ooh, a key. 
Oh, wait, that's going to be for that door that's locked in it. I'm not going to read that. Can't be asked. Unless it's like a really short note, I'm never going to read it. Uh, same with that one. Might as well just collect them anyway, because I'm guessing like Slendy would get an achievement for it. Okay, so looks like that room just has a key in it. I'm going to check down here first before we go to that. Okay, before we go to that locked door. Ooh, a little child's room. I couldn't have made that sound any more creepy than I just did. Okay, so we got a little doll. Interesting. Uh, what else? What else is in here? Okay, so it looks like there's nothing really else in there. Can I can I unlock the door actually? No, I guess not. Looks like we're gonna have to go in the room that's filled with blood. Then the exact sort of room you should avoid you should avoid in a horror game, or in real life actually. Oh God, please. Wait, how do you unlock it? Can I? Like, how do you how do you use that key? Um. At this point, I am very confused. Wait, do I press something like that on it? How do I use the key? I don't know the controls. Wait. Hang on. Let me let me check this, guys. Let me check this. Uh, graphics, gameplay, controls. Ah, controls, there. That's just talking about uh, sensitivity. Oh, wait, this. Okay. Interact, fast walk, movement, switch profile. Don't care about that. Subtitles, back to menu. What? It's not so showing me how I use that key, unless it's not that door. Oh no, it's, it'll be the one downstairs, won't it? Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, thank God that door's lo locked then. Yes, it is this. Okay, it is this door. Ding dong. Ding dong dot com. We have a painting here. Let's pull that down. Hey, oh, my sensitivity went weird. Oh, we got an achievement. It covers up for a reason. Yes, and a pretty much blank canvas. That is exactly right. What's in these? More bottles. I'm very... I'm a big alcoholic, apparently. Right. Anything in this one? What is that? Oh, paintbrushes. I had no idea what that was then. Uh, that's a chair. Okay. Noises. Very creepy. Oh, thingy box. What's in here? More paintbrushes. Fair enough. Okay. Oh. Oh, not more of these. Oh, how many of these? Right, I'm just going to open them all like this. Come on. Just open them all. Check if there's anything in them. Nope. Open. Ah, come on. This is so dodgy to handle. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. This is just so painful to handle. Uh, well, I think this game was originally made for PC, not Xbox. It's pretty dodgy to use right now. Okay. So, another note. Again, not going to read that. Just pause it if you want to. Right. So, I'm guessing that's all there is to find in there. Wait, can I not? Oh, yeah. I have to pull it back. The house has changed, and it suddenly got dark. I don't like. Don't like. Not at all. Please don't scare me. Please. I want to shut this window. Shut it. Anything out here? Thank you. Any for whatever heard me and shut the door for me. The window. Whatever. I'm losing what I'm saying right now. Uh, uh, can I... Can I... Oh. There's something to open here. Uh, nothing interesting at all. Alright. I guess if we just go... And it's changed again. This is trippy. I feel like I'm on drugs. I don't like how the music is getting intense. Here. Woman playing the piano. No, I'm keeping the light on, thank you very much. Going 
in circles. Okay. I've got another achievement. Don't know what that was for. Oh, find a memento for the family. Okay, so that was a family picture then. Uh, let's open that. No, again, not going to read it. They're going to send me in circles again. Oh, wait. Up, up to the roof then. Eh. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is here? Is there anything interesting I can pick up here, maybe? Here, wind. Draws, again. Hate the draws. That is something I'm hating right now. Bottom draw. Yes, there is. Uh, again, not going to care about it. Just want to collect it. Thank you. Uh, shut the drop. Oh, screw it. I'm going to leave it untidy. Whatever. Don't care. It's not my house. <laughs> Uh, open this. Oh. Okay. So we have a chest with a code on it. But the question is, where is the code? One of the paintings, maybe? Maybe? No? Maybe the rooms have changed again? No, I'm locked inside this time. Great. Ooh, no, wait, where's that thing that I picked up? Maybe it's on here. Is there anything on here? Um, Save the date. Is there a date on this? Oh, wait, no. Hang on, I'm supposed to say... No, I'm confused, what do I do? <laughs> Is there anything I can pick up, maybe? Uh, very dark. What's that? Can I pick that up? No, nope, maybe not. Oh, I lit a candle. That candle somehow worked out. <laughs> that I accidentally lit a candle and I got numbers. Fair enough. So we have four, eight, and five. Please say this is only a three-digit thingy. Yes, it is. Right. So wait, that's going the wrong way. So four. Eight and five. Lovely! That's what I like to see. And I've just dropped that straight on the floor. What does that say? The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. Another achievement? Will you marry me? Oh, it's a wedding ring. But I'm pretty sure that was the ring we found upstairs. So what is it doing in this locked chest now? Rather weird, I would say. But then again, what isn't weird about this game? Now, is this door unlocked? That is the question. No, it is not. Where do we go? Oh, okay. There's another door here now. Never forget. Well, I'm an elephant. I can never forget. What are you on about? I heard creaking. Uh... It's a rocking chair, creaking and rocking on its own. That is never a good sign in a horror film, horror game, or real life, actually. Wait. Can I open? There we go. There, by the looks of it. Anything in this one? No, I'm just opening cabinets again. Um, Stop rocking, please. Thank you. Is there anything in here? I can spin the globe. How fun. Um, oh, is that something I can pick up? No, it's not. I'm just currently clicking on everything to see if I can pick anything up. Here. Is there anything I can use? That made me jump. <laughs> Did not expect that. I think this has actually got more jump scares than Outlast, but like it's not as scary as Outlast, but it's got more jump scares if that makes sense. Like more the, like jump scares happen more often, but it's not as scary. Okay, I can't see anything right now. Except this lovely face. Is there anything used to light up the room? Okay, I can see stairs. That's a good sign. And a switch to turn on the light. That's good. 
Okay. I'm try I'm just I'm just trying to prepare myself for any jump scares now. Right. Oh. I wonder what was making that noise then, but that was pretty cool. We opened up a secret doorway into the room we've just been in. Okay, so where's that trap door gone? I don't want to fall down it again, so where is it? Why is that sound so goddamn creepy? Right, what, what am I missing in here? That hole in the floor was there, I remember now. But it's gone. Does that mean I can go back out this way again? Oh, it's changed. Yes, it is this way then. Okay. Pretty creepy. Oh my god, stop jump scaring me! Game! Paint deep lies. Okay. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> YouTube, do not demonetize me. That is a slightly sexual picture. <laughs> Right, can I open this? Yes, I can. Thank God. Right. So, I'm going to leave it here, guys. This will be episode one, guys. I'm going to leave it here for now. This room we shall explore for episode two, and we shall continue. Each episode is going to be roughly about 15 to 20 minutes long, so... Yes, this is episode one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Smack me bell for notifications if you want to see me sex face again. And make sure to tune in for the next episode. I will see you all in the next one. Phoenix salute. Out.